Hi there, in this demonstration we're going to take a look at how we could use Kudzu and Lightning Forms as an info path replacement. So first of all what I'm going to do is come in here to read a new form using the Kudzu Migrator. And notice that in the drop down here we can migrate from different types of form. And the form type that I'm going to choose is InfoPath. So we're going to use this as a, an InfoPath alternative or InfoPath replacement. So once I select the reader, I can browse. And from the list of sample forms, I'm going to choose the employment application form, which is an InfoPath form. So once I've selected that, we can give this form a name. So I'm just going to call this Lightning Tools Employee application form and we're then going to hit go and that will read in the info path form and notice on here it tells us how successful it's likely to be at reading the views reading the fields and reading any rules that are implemented in that and we can go through and preview the info path form as well to see the layout and how well Kudzu has, has read in that design uh, and what you'll notice when we look at this info path form is the fact that there are some repeating tables uh, throughout there for previous employment references and education and we're going to turn these into sub lists using lightning forms in just a moment so let's just jump back to kudzu forms and from here we'll uh, we'll hit close this has now created the lightning tools employee application form so now that we've read in that infopath form we're going to write it out and we're going to write it out to a brand new sharepoint site so before we do so, what we're going to do is actually go through and create that SharePoint site. So uh, we'll call this again the Lightning Tools Employee Application. So this is a, a brand new site that we're, we're creating here. Uh, of course, we could go in and add members and so on. We're just going to leave it as the one user for now. So we've got a, a brand new uh, SharePoint site. And of course, if we go to the site contents here, we've just got the uh, the standard uh, SharePoint lists. So we're going to take the URL uh, to that particular site. I'm going to copy that onto the clipboard. And uh, what we're going to do is hit write. And we're going to choose Lightning Forms as the destination for this InfoPath form. So Lightning Forms will be the InfoPath replacement or the InfoPath alternative. And uh, what we can do is create a new connection uh, for that particular site. So we're going to call this again Lightning Tools Employment application so we know what it is we could give it a description and I could paste in the URL uh, to that particular site and we can choose how we want to authenticate we can just hit test to make sure that we can reach that site and we can authenticate with it and so on so once I've done that uh, it's now a case of hitting go so um, we've told it the form the info path form that we want to read in and we're writing out to SharePoint so we'll hit go and notice how that is going through now creating not just one SharePoint list but it's creating multiple SharePoint lists so we're gonna have the main form as a SharePoint list and then everything that was a repeating table is effectively effectively going to be a sub list on the main form so that you can complete all of the the forms in one go uh, with inside the main SharePoint uh, list form so that's just deploying that and uh, in a moment we'll be able to reach back out to our newly created SharePoint site and we'll be able to test the InfoPath form migration. So it is currently going through deploying a form to each of those sublists, what was the InfoPath repeating table. And here it says it was 100% successful. Um, so let's be the judge of that. Let's go back to the site contents here and I'll refresh. And what you can see is we've got several different lists created. Uh, one of them here is uh, the Lightning Tools employee application form. So as we go into that, so what I'm going to do is just hit new. And as you can see, we've got that same form now migrated to the SharePoint list. And notice on here, we've got the education section, which is the sub list. We've also got references, previous employment and resume. And these have actually been created as separate SharePoint lists, but embedded on the same page. Um, so now we've migrated the InfoPath form. Uh, what we could do is maybe add some additional logic and change the layout if we wanted to. Uh, so we can go back into Lightning Forms. We can edit the new form or the edit form or even the display form uh, around uh, that SharePoint list. And we can start to make some further customizations. So notice that we've got the different fields in here with a single column. 
uh, we could change the layout by uh, by simply uh, coming into the row configurations. This is where we could change from one, two, or three columns. Uh, we can move the fields around uh, if we uh, if we so choose whilst we're in here. We can also add further logic. Um, so if we get into uh, some of the different properties behind the fields, notice that we can control when these fields are visible, when they're enabled, when what the calculated value is, and so on. And we can do all of that using uh, easy to use calculated value expression builder. Uh, so we can reference the different fields that are inside that SharePoint list, and we can even get into things like the context objects as well to do things like compare the current user with an Active Directory uh, security group or with a SharePoint group to make sure that they are a member of that group. Uh, that could determine, for example, when we're showing or hiding a field. And uh, we can also do styling, so we can get into the styling of this form. So if I wanted to adjust all the different field values uh, or labels, we can add styles to that. Uh, so notice in here we could uh, maybe increase the font or change the color of the uh, the labels. So if we come down here to, uh, to label, uh, notice the color of that. We could maybe change to the theme color, which is red, uh, and we could change from nine points maybe to 12 points and if we hit preview notice all of that changes uh, these styles can also be conditional uh, if we so choose as well uh, we can also get into actions so we can create a command bar action button so here we have a save and cancel i may decide that i want to add a submit button onto my form so we could go through and select a different icon for that so i'll choose a send type icon uh, we can configure some actions that maybe to save the form and uh, and then maybe send uh, an email and we could choose who that email is going to be going to uh, who it's going from and so on and configure that too so that's the type of thing that we can do with lightning forms uh, and we can speed up the migration of your info path forms uh, so that you've got the lightning forms as an info path replacement uh, and you can uh, of course build out those solutions very easily and very quickly uh, using those two tools together. All right, many thanks.